Welcome to Northumberland and Hadrian's Wall. Castles and battle sites, ghosts and legends, coast and countryside. Sponsored by Eat and Sleep at Lindisfarne, Northumberland's premier bunkhouse and cafe, and held rider equipment. So come on, let's go on an adventure. Welcome to Bamborough Castle. In my opinion, the finest castle in Britain. It spans approximately nine acres on this site. And there's been suggestions to say that there have been people on this site since 10,000 BC. That it's been attacked by Vikings. And there's been excavations to suggest hundreds and hundreds of years of history. Lord Armstrong, the owner of Cragside at Rothbury, owned this castle as well. And when you get here and you go inside, the walls are adorned with history. So let's go and have a look. When you come and visit Bamber and come to Bamber Castle, when you get inside, the walls are adorned with hundreds and hundreds of years worth of history. Behind me is just one of the rooms that you can come and explore and discover what it was like over the hundreds of years. Once you're up at the castle and you look over the Northumberland coast where the castle has this commanding view you see mile after mile of Golden Beach. If you get the right day and the clear blue sky and the sea lapping in, it takes somewhere special to be anywhere better than this. So there we have Bamborough Castle. Even as you come down, you get such a fabulous view. Just look at it. The cannons pointing out to sea of what it must have been like. Thank you. And as we come down from the castle and we look right up into the distance, there are the Cheviot Hills. So the castle really does have a commanding view atop Basalt Rock over the Northumberland coast and countryside. Simply breathtaking place to visit. Look at that glinting off the surface of the sea. And there's the Farn Islands even closer. It's hard to imagine today the Farn Islands being in a horrendous storm sufficient to make a shipwreck. Get yourself to the Grace Darling Museum and find out more. As we've come into the outskirts of sea houses, this area was prolific with the Anglo-Saxons and in fact there is history of the Anglo-Saxons being at Bamber Castle, or Bamber, but also in sea houses as well. So it was pillaged and plundered by the Vikings and by the Anglo-Saxons. And there are also suggestions saying the Romans occupied this area too. Although it is north of Hadrian's Wall. And that's the harbour over there. Now that is where you can get yourself a little day trip and go out to the farms and get yourself really close to it. But as we come into the centre of sea houses, it's very much a tourist area now. Your fish and chips, your gift shops, your public loos.
and on a busy weekend it's like an ant's nest. And where we're just about to go, it's as if you're going to go into another dimension. As we go, into Beadnell. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Beudal Bay, Bambra, Beadnell, Berwick upon Tweed. So, we're in Beadnell. So, let me show you. A sight for sore eyes. Beat that if you can. On the Northumberland coast, something like this. I told you we'd been transported into another dimension. You could just stay here all day, and especially on a day like today. You wouldn't think something so stunning would be on the Northumberland coast, would you? No, Uncle Kev. Well, you do now. And now, what we're going to do is head towards Annick, but there's a little bit of a diversion before then. And we haven't got a care in the world. Would I like to be anywhere else than here right now? Nah. Sunshine, blue skies, Britain, you can of whack it. And the next part that we go to is a world famous harbour. And it's world famous for one thing and one thing only. And if you hear the word or the name of the coastal village of Craster, you might already know what we're going to talk about. And just on the outskirts of Craster, you've got Dunstanber Castle. And you can find out more about that castle in the book. But here we are now entering Craster. Now, Craster is world famous for its kippers. And this harbour in front of us was absolutely chock-a-block at one time. With herring boats. And now, there's not so many. And as we come out of Craster, we turn left 
and head towards Annick. Annick once, in fact probably more than once, being voted the best place to live in Britain. Oh, look at that lovely gate there, eh?